So I'm going to throw it to the crowd. Has anyone here considered how they use water in their house and where you might be able to save water in various different areas of your home? Yes. Yes. Yes? Okay, awesome. How much water, Chrissy, do you think um, we should aim to be using per person per day as a benchmark? I'm not sure. Not sure? <laughs> do you know how much water you consume each day? No. No, okay. So maybe we'll just focus on that because uh, for myself, um, I've recently moved into a new home, which is on town water. And a really quick and simple way to be able to um, get an estimate of how much water you use in the household is to look at your water meter. So we have two people in our household and um, both my partner and I use water um, not so much for outdoor use, but I know a lot of people here might have gardens that they would um, need to water. But um, our usage in our household is mainly for indoor uses. So obviously we have um, showers, we flush the toilets, um, we do the dishes, um, and they're probably our main water um, using areas of the home. We also um, wash clothes when our washing machine is working, which it's currently not functioning at the moment. But a washing machine alone, um, if you've ever investigated how much water um, litres per day a, a washing machine uses, um, our washing machine is a Wells rated device. So it's something that's been given a star rating in terms of its water efficiency, which you should always look out for when you're um, looking to buy new appliances. But even at the high Wells star rating of our washing machine, that our washing machine is, it still uses 60 litres every wash. So if uh, my partner is coming home from a long day of work and he works in an industry where he needs to wash clothes relatively frequently, all of a sudden the washing machine, when you take that into account, uh, for our household personally, is probably one of the biggest water using devices. So if we can look at ways to try and reduce um, the water being used for the washing machine, we're having quite a um, dramatic impact on our overall water consumption for the home. I quickly printed this off and I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's interesting when you look at different areas of the home and what roughly the percentage water consumption is. Um, and it's interesting to know this information just as background context because every household is going to be slightly different. It's not a set and forget thing because obviously water consumption has many variables depending on the number of people in your home and what the various uses um, and areas you use water in the home are. But as a rough ballpark, you can see that for outdoor use, toilets and your um, washing machine, if you combine those uses together, they account for roughly 50% um, or more of an average household water consumption. So if we can figure out ways to try and target these three uses, um, particularly if you're on mains water, and oh, these services of the yeah. home are being supplied yeah. by our mains water um, yeah. supply, yeah. if we can try and reduce yeah. these areas, yeah. we're reducing yeah. demand on our overall yeah. water supply yeah. um, service. Yeah. And we heard a little bit earlier yeah. today yeah. just about yeah. the yeah. energy yeah. and yeah. resources yeah. that go into yeah. um, our mains water supply service. So if we can try and reduce in these areas, uh, within every individual home, the accumulative benefit for water saving and water um, reduction in water consumption, or what we like to term reduce in overall um, demand or demand management can be quite significant for our you know, every resident. So um, that brings me to rainwater tank rebate. If you are a um, residential customer of Byron, Ballina, Lismore or the Richmond Valley local um, government areas and you're on mains water supply so you have a water meter that is measuring your water consumption you may be eligible for our rainwater tank rebate program and uh, in my position I'm fortunate to hear from 
many people who work in different um, local government areas across the state and for different water utilities. And from what I gather through those conversations, Rouse County Council is one of very few um, utilities that offer this program to its residents. So we are super fortunate to have um, this opportunity. Um, if you're considering installing a tank, the rebates are based on the litre capacity of the tank that you install. So if you're talking to me, I'd pass on some helpful information, letting you know that for a tank rebate, the minimum capacity that um, you'd be eligible to receive a rebate is 2,000 litres. Each, uh, each tier, I suppose, of the tank rebates is based on the increased capacity of the tank. So we've got rebates varying from $200 to $1,000, depending on what tank capacity you install. If you are opting to install a tank for outdoor use only, so to water your gardens, which a lot of people here on the North Coast um, do, with both veggie gardens and um, washing their cars um, and other outdoor uses, you would be eligible for the tank rebate um, alone. And all you would need to supply to us to be eligible is your water meter number, a few personal details about your property so we can see if the property has previously received a rebate or not, as well as the um, invoice for your tank. So we provide the rebates on completion of um, the tank being installed. The other awesome thing that not many people know about is you can install a tank for outdoor use and then if you're considering connecting internal fixtures, so your washing machine and toilets to your rainwater tank, there's additional rebates um, involved in that work. So $620 for the connection of the toilets and $550 for connections of the washing machine. So if you were, for example, opting to install um, a 10,000 litre tank, which is the top tier of rebates, a maximum of $1,000, plus you connect your tank to your toilets and washing machine, you would be eligible for a total rebate of um, just over $2,000, so $2,170. Um, a lot of people ask, uh, in terms of frequently asked questions, can you apply for a rebate if the property has already previously received a rebate? The answer is yes. Uh, but what we do is look at, um, again, it comes back to the maximum rebates that we can provide. So for example, if you've previously installed a 2000 litre tank and received a rebate of $200 for that tank, and you're looking to install a larger capacity tank in addition to the tank you already have and connect your washing machine and toilets to that tank, you would be eligible firstly um, for the difference in the tank capacity. So if you install a 5,000 litre tank as an example on top of the 2,000 litre tank you've already installed. You haven't yet consumed the full $1,000 that any one property is eligible for, so you would actually be eligible for the $800 associated with a 5,000 litre tank. It sounds a little complex, but it basically means if you're applying for another tank, we can look at a rebate that it's associated with the additional capacity and any one tank or any one connection, sorry, or property is eligible for a maximum of $1,000 for the tank alone. Um, that goes similarly, um, the same goes for internal fixtures. If you haven't yet claimed the rebate for connecting your toilets and washing machine, you can do that after installing your tank at a different time and still be eligible for the rebates associated with internal fixtures. Um, other frequently asked questions, and I was just talking to a gentleman earlier um, today, was around um, rebates associated with new builds. So when you build a new property in the area, you, gen well, you do have um, what's called BASIC's building requirements to adhere to. For, um, 
you, you might have a requirement, for example, to install a 3,000 litre tank as part of your BASICS requirements. If you choose to install a 5,000 litre tank, you would be eligible for the additional capacity you've installed. So that would be um, if your BASICS requirements is 3,000 litres and you've installed 5,000 litres, you'd be eligible for 2,000 litres, which is a $200 rebate. That goes for the internal fixtures as well because um, you may or may not be required with your BASICS to um, connect the rainwater tank to internal fixtures. If it's not a requirement as part of BASICS but you do, um, being the water conscious person that you are, you would be eligible for um, those rebates. Uh, so what else can I tell you? If we go back to where our main water uses are in an average home, keep in mind that this is just an average. Um, as I say, every um, home has its own particular water uses. Um, if we can use water from our rainwater tank, which is collected free from the, the roof, so there's cost benefits there as well. If we can service um, any of our outdoor uses, the toilets and the washing machine, that's a large proportion of our in-home consumption that is accounted for through the rainwater tank rather than our mains water supply. And considering um, where our water comes from on the main supply, as we previously heard today, it is not an unlimited source. And there was huge um, pressures in the recent drought on our mains water supply. If every connection can be opting to turn to rainwater that's collected um, and stored on their property for, the pur for these purposes. And really, I don't think you're gonna notice if your toilet is being flushed by good quality mains water or the water that's come from your roof. That all has a flow on benefit to the demand that we place on our mains water supply. So if we can try and reduce that, and if every household can try and reduce that, not only with um, installing a rainwater tank, but looking at your behaviours inside and outside of the house, we can each have quite a dramatic impact on um, our own footprint on the water supply, which is probably a nice lead into this nifty little tool, which we have just uh, recently launched and is available on the Rouse website. For people who are unaware of how much water they use in the home, and even break that down further to how much water they consume in each different area of the home. We've just recently launched this nifty little water calculator, which is a fully online virtual tool, which will take you through each area of your home to work out actually quite accurately what your water consumption is around the home. And it will give you easy um, and quite simple ideas to try and reduce consumption in those areas. So a nifty little exercise when um, you go back to your water meter and you look at your water consumption on a day or over a week, looking at the read on the meter um, on the first day and then the read on the meter every day after that and calculating the difference. If you then take yourself through this activity and compare to your meter read, Hopefully, like the many people who have done this exercise, you'll find that it's quite accurate. But in doing this, you'll get um, different ideas about how to save water and how to be more water efficient in the home. Are there any questions on the tank rebate that I can answer for people who are here? Good question. I don't have an answer for that and that is mainly because this program is designed with the purpose of trying to reduce demand on our mains water supply. Um, I grew up on tank water myself, not connected to main supply, so I've actually gone through the full gamut of um, what it's like to be in a home that only relies on a tank to now having a water meter and having the responsibility of knowing where my water comes from, 
why it's important to save and um, what that means in terms of trying to reduce my use in every area of the home. I'm considering, I've literally just moved into this home and I'm already considering a rebate. I don't have an answer for you because it is mainly around reducing demand on the main supply. Chrissy. Um, I already have a rainwater tank. Yep. Can I apply for a rebate? It was installed about five years ago. Can, okay. can I apply for a rebate? Sure. So what you do, I'd encourage you to call me. In every situation with tank rebates, because every home is different, whether it's an existing property, a new build, if you have an existing tank, um, I like to ask all of these questions of you to check your eligibility. What I do is look at our existing records of tank rebates and establish whether or not the property has received a rebate in the past or not. So the rebate isn't um, associated with your name as a customer, it's associated with the property and the, the water meter. If you haven't yet previously received a rebate, you would be eligible for the full, the full tiered structure of rebates. If for whatever reason I do a property search and I see that maybe the previous owner has um, received a rainwater tank rebate in the past, then we would look at um, if they have received already the top tier of a thousand dollar rebate for the tank, you would be ineligible for the tank rebate, but you may be, well, you would be eligible for the internal fixtures if you haven't yet done that. If though, for example, you've, um, they previously received a rebate of $200 for a 2,000 litre tank and you now install 5,000 litres, you would be eligible for $800 even though the property's previously received a rebate in the past. Yeah, so it's just more of a case of me having that conversation with you, establishing what your circumstances are and then I can give you an accurate idea of the rebate itself. How to apply? That's probably a good question. <laughs> All the information is available on the Rouse website and actually on the Rouse website there's a nifty little, little tab called Your Water which has everything you will need to know about the rainwater tank rebates as well as the online water calculator tool as well as a suite of different resources that is available to you to look at water consumption in every area of your home. So I would um, suggest that you visit our website in the first instance or give us a call because our um, customer service team, as well as myself and a number of different people at Rouse are um, enthusiastic about this program and are willing to help with any questions that you have.